Hi Drupalers, today I want to help you solve two of your problems that you might have when having various users. The first problem that I want to solve with you is that um, if you have various users and you just want them to be able to see their own content, um, you can use this very great module, which is called Node View Permissions module. It's also safe to use it. I have never had problems with it. I, I will just show you quickly how to, uh, how to install it and how, uh, how to configure it. So first of all, you install it in a normal Drupal way. Then here on content node view permissions, you select the content types that you want to have these extra permissions so that uh, each user can have its own permissions. And here the various content types, you just hit conf save configuration. After this, you go to the um, to permissions people tab and then you um, click on the various user role, for example, admin should be able to view any content, but for example, a signed up user should only see its own content. That's how I configured it in my way, but you obviously need to adjust it to your use case. In, my, in our use case, um, we now, uh, also the second problem that we faced is that if you import something um, with the feeds module, which is also a very good module. I have never had problems, even though it's not covered by Drupal's security advisory policy. For me, it works very, very good, this module, and, and it's actually very handy. If you install this module, and for example, you have a signed up user one, and he imports new content for any content type, for, uh, for, for any content type, let's say, for example, for clients. So if, if the user one wants to import 100 clients, then, uh, he um, it doesn't automatically get gets assigned. Uh, he doesn't get automatically assigned its own authorship. So what does this mean? Um, if we click here on content, you can see I try to import clients with this user, but the problem is that the author here gets assigned as anonymous. If you have just installed the feeds module, there there are various um, different solutions on on the internet on how to do this. If you Google, there are a couple of solutions, but one solution that I found works very easy and very fast is installing the feeds temper module, um, with which you can do also various other things that might be handy, replace instances and taxonomies. And the second, mo second module that you need is the feeds temper PHP module so that you can execute custom PHP co uh, code while using this module. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the next step. Uh, so let's how how do you configure it uh, so that each uh, so that the module gets uh, so that when you import content that the author gets the right authorship. The author okay it gets assigned correctly. First of all, you go to the content type that you want to use. So for example, this is clients in German, and then you click on mapping. After you've configured all the all the other stuff, um, which is necessary for, uh, necessary for the feeds, feeds module, at the end um, you can you click user ID. This is what the author is, and then I configured it in this way that I used a blank space. This has the advantage that if you have real clients that want to import their own data, that they don't get confused by another label, and that that it doesn't show up if you. Um, if you show them the, uh, the template. For example, in this template, there is no space for this, uh, this field. So clients won't, be, won't think that they need to implement, uh, import something here, which is correct, because this will be automatically imported. Okay, so then you just um, hit a blank space, hit save, then this field's, field gets saved. After this, you go to the temper tab you scroll down to see this field, this empty field, and then you get add plugin. Here in this, um, on this page, you go to execute custom, uh, custom PHP code. And after this, you, you can use the custom PHP code that I found on the internet. Um, and you just copy and paste it here. I will provide it in the description link. Then you click on add and you're done. Now, every time, um, like here, we are, this is the admin user. Let's go to a test user one. So this is test user one account um, that is signed in here. Let's import a new, a new client. 
So here we can see those are the clients that we already have. Um, so we are here on the node, node ID 182. And here um, I included two new, uh, new clients. Okay, let's hit import and see if it works. Ah, it doesn't work. Let's check it again. Kunden import. Yeah, it's clicking. Now it should work. Okay. Now it works. It created two new nodes, and if we hit the refresh here, it included the two new clients. Perfect. That's everything we wanted. So I hope this was useful to you. If it, I know it's a very special topic, but um, as I saw on the internet, lots of people also face this problem. And yeah, if you like this video, just uh, give me a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend who has a similar problem. Thank you very much for, for your attention and see you next time.